Hi everyone, today I'm walking, getting some exercise, and I have got my mini Evelyn with me. Here she is, and I was not planning to pop into a store, but I couldn't resist, so I am going to go into Madewell. Yes, there are some bags that I have been eyeing for a little while, and I want to go see them in person. I want to see the quality and the fit, so let's get in here. So the first bag that I see on display is this bucket bag in beautiful suede. It is a rich sort of butterscotch caramel color. It's got one slip pocket. It is super cute, but this is not one of the bags that I came for. It looks very practical though, and look here. The buckle is so pretty, this detail how it hangs down. There's also this smaller size. This color is like a poppy red. It reminds me very much of the Everlane red crossbody bag that I had and I let go of last month. But this is super cute. Same configuration with the one slit pocket and it's got a pretty strong magnet. And this is really cute crossbody. Again, love the detail on the buckle. Just a really nice minimalist touch and I like it. I like the color. I like the pop of color. Not with this black coat, obviously, but maybe with like a white shirt and jeans. It's really cute and it looks like it would fit a lot. Here's a quick little side-by-side -side next to my mini Eveline just so you can get a size reference. And these are the bags that I have been eyeing. In particular, this one up here. This is the sling bag. And my friend actually bought this recently. She and I were both thinking about it. She got hers first. There is the black version, but it's this chocolate raisin. Or is it? I think it's called chocolate raisin. It's like a chocolatey warm brown. And you can see it's different from the other browns. I really wanted to see this in person. So it's really roomy on the inside. It's got an open slip pocket. This is the pocket that I was really intrigued by on the side. It's a separate compartment. And okay, I get sidetracked. This is the medium transport tote that I used to own for many years. It was my go-to for work. And I finally retired it and let it go. This is the Sydney bag that leather um, guy, Tan or Leatherstein reviewed and said some really good stuff about Madewell. This one I was not planning to take a look at, but it's super cute and buttery soft. It's the mini Piazza bag. Reminds me of the Loewe. Um, flamenco bag is it which I had mentioned in the past it's cute crossbody this I have to go back to so this is what I came for love it crossbody the side zipper there is really cool and the thing is I have the largest iPhone it's the Pro Max and it does fit but it's a little snug I think it's better if you have a smaller phone so that's kind of making me hesitate but look how comfortable this looks you can wear it higher up Love the color. Even on an all black outfit, this chocolatey brown is so nice. And it's feather light. Most of the Madewell bags are so light. I used to own two Madewell bags. I can attest to the quality, the durability, the comfort. So I do like this, but I don't know if I need another crossbody bag. You know, you guys know I've been decluttering. Here it is on one shoulder, but I like it crossbody better. I've been decluttering. I've been letting go of a ton of bags. Not a ton, but a few. I keep going back to this one. It's super cute. I like it. Top handle, handheld, crook of the arm. It's very light again, super soft. I don't like it as much crossbody, but look at the beautiful leather. I wish you guys could feel this. It's so, so soft. It almost feels like lambskin, and I'm sure it's not lambskin. This kind of leather, though, it's going to show a little bit of you know wear. So here's the mini one, and then here's the larger, I guess, bigger size. So the bigger size is a little bit more square. I think I like the mini better. And I'll let me show you, this is what it looks like against my body frame. Kinda reminds me of my small transport crossbody, except this has the cinch. I don't really love the little stitching squares there. The mini one doesn't have that, so it looks a little cleaner and just cuter, really cute. Here's the thing, this one is so buttery soft, so, so, so buttery soft, but the exact same bag next to it, you might be able to tell it's not as soft, it has more of like a, maybe, not grainy, but it's a little different. So I asked the sales associate and she said, depending on the cut of the leather, it's gonna vary from bag to bag. This one right now, it's got five star reviews across the board, it is on sale, and then there's an extra 40% of code. I don't know when this will expire, but if you do the math, it's a really good deal. So going back to this, because you know, 
I came for the chocolate raisin. This, this looks really good actually, the essential tote. I was looking at this online. I don't need it because I don't go into the office, but um, look at it. It's got nice compartments. It's got the long straps. It also has the shorter top handle straps inside tucked in. I noticed online this beautiful rich olive color is available and this one is on sale. I think this is the only color that's on sale at the moment if you like it. But going back to this tote, I'm all over the place guys. I love this. I think because I'm feeling nostalgic for my old medium transport tote which was so good and I used it until it was just done on its last leg. I love this size, the shape, the rectangular but vertical and it just tucks so nicely. Here's a longer strap. You can remove it. It's adjustable. You can wear it like this hands free. I put it away from me. I stepped away just to like give myself some space from it. Then there is this one, which also I've mentioned in the past. Super cute. It's like this puffy woven crossbody bag. The silhouette kind of reminds me of my Celine Trio. You can use it as a clutch like this. It feels really nice. This one is on sale. My gosh. I mean... Madewell is having some major sales right now. Again, I don't know how long it'll last, but this one is a different color and more of like a caramel brown. The other one was more of that chocolatey raisin. But you can see, depending on the color, the prices will vary, I guess, based on either inventory or popularity. But it's super cute. This one also feather light. I didn't think that my iPhone would fit because, again, I have the largest size. And actually, it fits. It was pretty generous. It's just a flat bag. So, again, like my Celine Trio, it sits against the body flush. Very secure. Really good for travel. But you're going to have to be minimal with what you pack because it doesn't have a lot of space. Now, I keep going back to this tote. And here's the thing, you guys. I'm super bummed because when I came home... I went online to, you know, just stare at the bag again in the photos. And this color here, or this exact bag, is also on sale or was on sale. Here's the problem. 40% off on top. If you do the math, it's like 80 bucks. Look, it's sold out. It sold out within 24 hours of when I visited the store and when I started um, doing this video editing. So I am really bummed. And I'm thinking now I might need to run back to the Madewell store and see if they have any in stock and still on sale that I could purchase because I just wanted to like step away and kind of sleep on it. This wasn't a bag that I was planning to get. Remember, I had come here for the sling bag, but this one is calling me more. I don't like this one. I'm sick of chains on everything. Um... Yeah, they have such good bags. They're very, very hard-wearing workhorse bags that you don't have to fuss over. The leather typically patinas really nicely. Even with the wear, it just looks like it has more character. Here's the black one on the mannequin for display. Looks very, you know, sleek. And that's pretty much it, guys. I might actually check out their belts because I do know how nice the Madewell leather is from experience. So I might look at their belts in the future. But I would love to know how you feel about Madewell as a brand, if you've shopped with them. I am walking home and in my head I keep thinking about some of the bags, even the mini Piazza, so so cute, but I think you'd have to go in store to feel, make sure you get a really soft one because like I said, the leathers vary, but that tote is calling me. All right, thanks so much for watching you guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.